Okay, uniform motion. Well, uniform motion is the simplest uh, type of motion. An example uh, shown here would be something like a heavy bowling ball rolling across the floor. And what makes uniform motion very simple is because the speed is constant, the spacing is constant, so we have a, a between each of these uh, key poses uh, the same uh, distance or spacing. Now, uh, in uniform motion, besides the uh, speed being constant, uh, we also have that the object is traveling in a straight line. Uh, for right now, we'll mostly concentrate on the spacing being uh, the same spacing from frame to frame or from key to key. Now, if we want to, we can uh, determine how fast the object is actually going in terms of a, of a speed, given the size of things in the in view and uh, how far things move from from frame to frame. So, so let's just look at a simple example of that. Uh, if we have this this bowling ball and uh, it starts out in this first position and two frames later it's over here and two frames later it's over here. So that would mean this would be shooting on twos. Uh, from this we can use this uh, table which is a translation between speed in terms of miles per hour uh, compared with what distance something would travel in one frame. And uh, in this example, the, um, the ball seems to be traveling about 20 inches between drawings. And so that means, since we're shooting on twos, it's traveling about 10 inches uh, each frame. And we don't have 10 inches uh, per frame in the table, but it's somewhere between 10 miles an hour and 20 miles an hour, so roughly uh, 15 miles an hour. Well, let's look at a, another example of uh, using this idea. Let's um, look at Wile E. Coyote on um, rocket skates in this uh, classic scene from uh, Beep Beep. <laughs> Well, in that uh, scene, if we go frame by frame, here's uh, Wiley's uh, position on uh, two different frames, and just roughly estimating what's the size of his head or his ears, uh, and looking at how far is he traveling based on uh, objects in the in the near um, near background. It looks like he's traveling somewhere between 12 to 15 inches uh, per frame. So uh, from this table, he's going roughly uh, 20 miles an hour. A little bit of a correction since that um, video is uh, playing at 30 frames per second instead of 24 frames per second. So it's actually a little bit faster, but uh, pretty much that's the uh, ballpark value. Now, uh, you might have thought that uh, Wiley was traveling something like 60 or 80 miles an hour, some breakneck speed. But uh, in reality, the, um, uh, the animators didn't have to have him going so fast uh, in order to give him an impressive looking speed. Because since the camera's tracking him directly uh, and we're seeing objects whizzing by uh, just next to him, uh, that already looks uh, fast enough. And in fact, had it been any faster, then the uh, 
objects going uh, past him in profile would have been a complete blur and, and probably somewhat uninteresting. So Now, uh, one last thing about uh, uniform motion is that uh, if we're not viewing the motion in, in profile, if we're uh, seeing objects moving away from us or towards us, then of course we have to account for perspective and uniform spacings are not visually uniform in perspective. So uh, here we see a classic example of a rail line going off into the distance and these telegraph poles. And uh, even though we realize that the telegraph poles are uh, equally uh, spaced, uh, this visual spacing uh, in, in our field of view is shorter than the spacing between the poles that are that are closer to us. That's just part of perspective. So naturally, um, uniform motion may not appear uh, uniform due to this uh, distortion of scale when you have objects moving uh, away from the camera or towards the camera. So this example, like a bowling ball moving uh, away from the camera, uh, these uh, spacings at first might not necessarily appear uniform, but when you uh, check using some of the simple tricks of uh, perspective, like uh, diagonal lines uh, intersect at the um, halfway point, so uh, we can verify that uh, these spacings for these uh, drawings are actually equally spaced once you account for perspective. Now, naturally, this is more of an issue for uh, animators working in traditional hand-drawn or for uh, storyboard artists, uh, but uh, for CG animators, the, um, the computer takes care of calculating the um, effect of perspective. So uh, in summary, uh, uniform motion is a very simple type of motion. The objects moving at constant speed with a constant direction, so moving in a straight line. Spacings uh, are uniform in uniform motion after you account for any effects due to uh, perspective. The larger the spacings, the higher the, the speed. And uh, if you want to go to the trouble of actually uh, calculating the speed based on the spacings, that you saw a table that uh, had that. Uh, and then finally, the visual sense of speed varies with camera position and uh, tracking. You saw that in the example with uh, Wiley Coyote. He seemed to be traveling exceptionally fast, but that was mostly due to the um, camera uh, tracking him and, and watching him in, in profile. So, Well, uh, the uniform motion is important, but it's a little bit boring. So uh, in the next tutorials, we'll get to some more interesting types of uh, motion. See you then.